ABM Yanivalashen begin French with Rija. So in today's video, we will learn about some name of the countries in French and I will also let you know the flag of these countries side by side. So first of all, I will like pronounce the term means the country name in French and you can see the flag of that particular country on the screen and you can also see the, the spelling and the pronunciation as a subtitle. So let's move on with the first country, India. How to say India in French? It is land, 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 land. In French, all the countries are either masculine or feminine. Some countries are like plural in form. So that's why we have to use the definite article according to the number and the gender of that particular country. So that's why we are using L apostrophe with India, land, as India is feminine and it is beginning with a vowel. That's why we are using L apostrophe. It's very important to note in the beginning. So India, land, land. Now the next country is France. How to say France is La France. It is feminine, La France, La France, La France, France, La France. Now move on to the neighboring countries of France. First is Italy. How to say Italy in French? L'Italie, 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 L'Italie. Now the next country is Germany. How to say Germany? L'Allemagne, 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 L'Allemagne. Now next country is uh, Switzerland. How to say Switzerland? La Suisse. La Suisse, La Suisse. Now, next country is Belgium. How to say Belgium? La Belgique, La Belgique, La Belgique. Next country is Spain. How to say Spain? La Spagne, La Spagne, La Spagne. Like the Allemagne, La Spagne, La Spagne. Now, the next country is England. How to say England? L'Angleterre. It's beginning with a vowel. So that's why L apostrophe. L'Angleterre. L'Angleterre. So for England, uh, we have a flag like this. But if you are saying UK or, or like United Kingdom, then the flag will be this. And I hope you know the difference between England and UK. Both have two different flags. So UK. Now move on to some more European countries. Suppose if you have to say uh, like Netherlands. Netherlands is, uh, is like plural in form. How to say? Le pay ba. Le pay ba. Le pay ba. Now another example is uh, Greece. How to say Greece? La Grèce. La Grèce. La Grèce. Now move on to some countries which are outside Europe. First take the case of like Canada. How to say Canada? So it will be La Canada. La Canada. In this spelling is the same but the pronunciation differs. La Canada. La Canada. Now the next one is USA. United States of America. If you have to say in French, this country is a plural in form. How to say Le Zeta Zuni. Le Zeta Zuni. Le Zeta Zuni. In like pronouncing this term, you have to focus on like connecting the vowel and the consonant sound. Le Zeta Zuni. Le Zeta Zuni. But if you have to say not the United States of America, if you have to say only America, we are uh, uh, so in French we have a different term. So how can you say L'Amérique? Only America. L'Amérique, L'Amérique, and the flag is of course the same. L'Amérique, L'Amérique. Next country you can take is Australia. How to say Australia? L'Australie, 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 L'Australie. Now move on to some uh, to some countries which are like Asian. Okay, which are Asian country. Uh, first country we have already discussed. This is India. Now the next one is uh, China. How to say China? It is feminine in form. La Chine. Sh sound. La Chine. La Chine. 
Next Asian country we can take like Japan. How to say Japan? Le Japo. Le Japo. Le Japo. In this, I have tried to write the Hindi uh, Hindi phonetics as J, though we don't have this J sound in Hindi phonetics. Uh, but uh, what you can do, you can uh, remember uh, the English word pleasure or measure having this J sound. J, la, japo, la, japo. So in this video, we have covered around 15 names of the countries and their respective flags. So that's all for this video. If you like this video, so do share it with French language learners and do subscribe the channel as well. So hope to meet you soon in my next video. Till then, take care. Au revoir.